If you want to stand out and land that $200,000 coding job, you need to have a coding portfolio. Whether you're a front-end developer, back-end developer, data engineer, or any other kind of programmer, without a high-quality portfolio, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. These five tips will bring your portfolio to the next level, making you finally stand out in your coding interviews. Make sure to stay until the end for the crucial tip that most people do not take into consideration. First of all, the portfolio has to be published online for everyone to see. There are many websites available to help you do this, but my favorite is Netlify. Netlify lets you build any website directly from their app with the options to customize the domain. The best part is, it costs you absolutely nothing to run. You have three options to create your own website. First, you could deploy manually by importing your code directly. You could also start with a predefined template that they provide. The best option, however, is linking directly to your GitHub repository. That way, whenever you make any changes to your GitHub repository, the website automatically deploys the changes without you needing to worry about anything. Netlify also allows you to customize your domain to anything you want. For example, I called my portfolio ericc-portfolio, which is a unique custom name. They also support using your own domain if you own the exclusive rights to it. So if you purchase a domain online, you can then use it with Netlify for no additional cost. Moving on to web design, a smooth, complementary color palette is a must. At Coolers.co, you can generate your own color palettes by just pressing the space bar. If you find a color you like, simply copy the color code and paste it into your CSS style sheet. You could also explore the trending palettes. I highly recommend these three. They are beautiful and simplistic and I have used them in numerous past projects. The best part that you need in any portfolio with images is the image generator option. From any image you choose, you can see the color palette to maintain a consistent scheme in your website. Finally, for those that struggle with graphic design, you could check the contrast between any two colors to never make ugly designs again. If you're looking for any fonts, you could also navigate to the new font section and visualize all of the different options. Another website that you must have in your repertoire is universe.io. This website elevates your projects to the next level with minimal effort. Here, you can find the code for any object that you want to implement in your project. The best part is, they are completely open source, meaning it's free to use with no copyright issues. If you have a specific element in mind, you can use the search function to find exactly what you're looking for. You could also browse the website for anything ranging from buttons to cards and forms. If you find something you like, just click on it. The HTML and CSS source code will open up immediately. Now, just copy and paste this directly into your project. A crucial part of any portfolio is a contact page. If you want to stand out and ease communication, you need to implement this email.js form. After implementing this, anyone can reach out to you simply by filling out the form with their details and inquiries. The best part, it gets emailed to you directly, so you will never miss anything. For example, if an employer from Google were to reach out to me, their email will be forwarded directly to my own inbox. To deploy this, start by making an account with email.js. Now in your React app, begin installing it by running this npm installation. Just copy paste this code snippet before the closing tag in your index.html file. Make sure to add in your own personal public key which you can find in the account dashboard. Now for the most important part. But first, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more helpful tips and you can finally get that $200,000 job in big tech. 60% of all websites are accessed from a mobile device. If you don't make your project responsive, you are making a drastic mistake. To fix this, start by taking advantage of Chrome's developer tools to see what your website looks like on different platforms. To style the page for certain sizes, making it responsive. Take advantage of the media query functionality in CSS. For example, to make the page responsive for all phone sizes, start by writing at media screen and max width 1000 pixels. This allows you to apply specific CSL styles when the screen width is at most 1000 pixels wide. Then add the specific changes you want made for this window. Now you have a fully responsive website. With these 5 tips, you are guaranteed to make your portfolio stand out and drastically improve your chances of getting into that big tech job. For more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe.